Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here and it is Sunday the 28th of December. Thanks again for watching. This is your look ahead video and it's a late update but a very interesting run of the ECMWF has just arrived. Uh, first up, this is a comparison between the ECMWF on the left here, the GFS on the right. It's the mean of the 7 to 10 day 500 millibar flow. So this is running from next Sunday through to Wednesday the 7th of January. Quite a bit of difference actually between the model runs here. Uh, GFS brings, uh, sorry, ECMWF brings a strong jet across the western part of the channel before splitting um, west of Ireland. But look what the GFS Ensemble does. It brings in that strong jet south of the country, piles it through the country as well, indicating far more unsettled conditions as far as the GFS sees things compared to the ECMWF. Now, that's been backed up kind of by the 12 o'clock run of the ECMWF because... So here we go then, this is the analysis from midday today. Big area of high pressure looks centred over the west of the country, going to bring us another cold night tonight. Notice too that cold pool there, look, across northern parts of Italy. This is the feature that's brought all the snow to northern Italy, into the Alps, Austria and also Hungary, as well as eastern parts of France. Now mid by midday on Monday, still got this big ridge here, look, um, still got the cool winds pumping down into central parts of Europe, milder air pumping north, strengthening this ridge all the time, so that by midnight uh, heading into uh, Tuesday, uh, sorry, by midday on Tuesday, we're picking up uh, still the ridge, still the high, down to the south, look, and what this is going to tend to do is to topple south as a ridge feature look into New Year's Eve. It then picks up the idea of the strong jet there coming across the Atlantic, but this is the split that we've just been talking about. So this part of the jet down here feeds in warmer air off the Atlantic into the cold pool down here. This northern part of the jet attempts to do this feed in, but it's struggling against this feature down here. Now that's what the models are also going to struggle with. There's lots of big hits taking place here and we've got this hit of cold air as well coming into the back edge of this jet that strengthens off the jet in the Atlantic as well by New Year's Eve. This is the changeover day really when the high eventually collapses away so that by New Year's Day the jet stream is here look blowing through or just to the north of the UK. Here's that feature look becoming cut off in the central southern parts of the Mediterranean. Cold air starting to blast in here, feeding into this jet all the time, strengthening this feature. And you'll notice that along that feature, we're also starting to pick up, look, um, little areas of low pressure. You see the kinks in the isobars here, these little lows here start to develop along the jet stream, which is what you'd expect to see. That on Friday, the ridge is trying to build back again, but we've got one of these trough features, look, just clearing off to the east and then on Saturday, the ridge is there, but look, the flow has tried to get round into the northwest and the North Sea through central parts of Europe by then. And that's a hint of things to come as far as the ECMWF sees things, because by the time we're getting into under the 5th, we've seen these features look developing in the jet stream. They're deepening all the time, and then what happens is that they pass east become complex and drag in cold air behind them. So I think what the ECMWF is picking up on, and I wouldn't be putting down too much on the detail on this at the moment, what the GFS is picking, uh, sorry, what the ECMWF is picking up on is a similar story to the GFS, just not making the jet stream quite so strong. But what it's saying is the jet strengthens along the jet itself, we're gonna be finding these small areas of low pressure developing and deepening quickly. Some of them could pass through the UK bringing stronger winds. And on the back edge of them, the winds will be pulled round into the Northwest, turning things more wintry, although probably only briefly. And I think that what we've seen over the last uh, couple of days, where we saw that hit of cold come in uh, through Christmas and then post Christmas, which of course we were predicting, I think that's probably something that we'll see again into the early part of January. So it's not depths of winter cold, but it's just these hits of winter coming through from time to time, which could last 24 or 48 hours when we get the strong ones coming in. 
And this, in fact, is the forecast that we put out to clients uh, for the 1st to the 7th of January. It talks about increasing winds look across Scotland, Northern England and across Ireland. And the idea that it would turn milder as the winds went into the southwest. And a risk of rain, uh, heavy at times, and a risk of gales, uh, particularly in the west during the last part of the period. Then we went for the idea of cool with frosts at first across England and Wales becoming increasingly unsettled with increasing winds. And actually, I think that forecast isn't going to be turning out too badly by the looks of things. Although we don't mention there, of course, these sort of minor hits of cold that will come through. But we did put that in the narrative that we sent out. And I'll show you the full um, January forecast that went out to clients in the coming days. OK, so for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.